That was it. <laughs> well done, Chris. I'm going to have to give the miles to Chris because James yeah, was just what? absolutely yeah. awful. <laughs> After that medium speed carnage, I'm going to show you a road sign from somewhere in the world. First person to buzz in and tell me what it means gets the miles. Are you ready? Here is the first sign. Warning, penthouse dysentery sufferer ahead. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, warning, Noel Edmonds still operating in this area. <laughs> yes. Warning, shit happens. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, this is also... I'll give you, this is from um, America. This is from Lake Tahoe, if that gives you any clues. America. <laughs> Oh, I know. It means snow falling off the it roof. It does. It means yeah. snow falling from roofs. Well done, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, next one. Here it is. <laughs> yes. Breakdancing competition ahead. No. <laughs> <laughs> turn it. Just turn it. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Now keep going. Further, further. There you go. 70s disco ahead. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Turn it back to what it was before. Cut price bungee jump ahead. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually oh, well, from China. Well, it could be anything. End of Great Wall approaching. <laughs> <laughs> it must just be warning a bloke might land on your head then. Sort of, but I'm going to tell you. It's falling rocks ahead. What sort of rock? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what a what bloody it? funny shaped yeah. rock. OK. Here is your next one. I love this. I think you will too. <laughs> Rodent works ahead. No. <laughs> you are entering an area of really piss poor cartoonists. <laughs> no. Let me give you, I'll give you a clue. Um, this is actually from Italy. Church, my, church, my, oh, oh, mice oh, being oh, quiet. Yes, quiet. It is. <coughs> quiet. Be quiet in the. Well, area. I'm going to give it to you. Yeah, because it's please be quiet in this neighbourhood. Why not just write <laughs> quiet in Italian? Quiet as a mouse. Well done. Well done. OK, on to Think of a Link. Coming up are two apparently random pictures, and all our teams have to do is find the car-related link between them. Chris and Murray, what's the connection between Million Dollar Supercar, the McLaren F1, and James Bond femme fatale, Pussy Galore? Uh, Honor Blackman, Pussy Galore, McLaren F1, it costs about uh, three quarters of a million pounds. Uh, they're both out of Richard Hammond's league, for a start. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's right. Um, You're right. They, yeah. um, they both have a starter button. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> gold finger. Yes, right lines. I think it's something to do with gold. Yes. It's something, it's something in the, the car made out of gold? Yes. Yes, it is. I think I'm going to have to give you that, actually, because the answer is gold. Okay. Pussy Galore was the Bond girl in Goldfinger, and the McLaren F1 was so lavish, the engine bay was lined with real gold. Or, in Anne Diamond's case, Terry's all gold. <laughs> Britain and James, um, what's the link between Amstrad tycoon Sir Alan Sugar and tantrum typhoon Dame Elton John? And just before you come out with any awful smutty innuendo... <laughs> Can you just try, please try, and give me just a normal, straight answer? Oh. Try. <laughs> Can we that, get... that is quite pathetic. OK, hand me some smut. Yes! <laughs> Alan Sugar is a self-made man, so he has worked his way up from the bottom. <laughs> No, I... Come on, what's the no, actual... No, I've got it. I think... Do you know? A go spoonful on, of sugar helps the medicine go down. Yes. Elton John didn't want his son to go down on him. Just apparently. The... <laughs> no, 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 no. The connecting word is down. They've both had a puncture in the last week. <laughs> no, it's easier than that. Have you any idea? Any idea what that might be? Elton John's car collection? Not quite, no. no. They both owned the same car. I'll have to give they you have that, really. Ferrari I'll have to give you that, because the answer is a 1951 Bentley Continental, which Sir Alan bought <sighs> off Elton. 
Right, um, on to the only reason Richard Hammond comes here every <coughs> week. It's mystery car. I show you a tiny piece of a car and slowly reveal more. The faster you get it, the more miles you win. So, fingers on and buzzers. Murray, right, we've got to win this one, OK? Because yeah, I'm determined that at the end of this round, Hammond is not going to go, it's the only thing I can do. <laughs> Okay, let's have a look at the first car. Fingers on buzzers. Oh, it's worth a shot. Is it a small Lotus? No. Oh. Let's see a bit more. <laughs> that's that straight. Oh, this has really got them. That's fantastic. No, let's see a bit more. Oh, so on it. Alfa Romeo Look at those two. It's an Alfa Romeo Brera, is correct, yeah. Look at that little easy. I tell you what, though, we had you going on that one there. We like this. Let's have a look at the next one. You want to see a bit more? Are you yeah. still going to be. Yeah? yeah, a bit more. A little bit more, please. Oh, now he's on it. It's a Ford Torino, Starsky yes. and Hutch car. It is the Starsky and Hutch Ford Gran Torino. <laughs> Okay, let's see the next one. <laughs> uh, this is a no. great week. Oh, you've made oh, these hard. Sure. These are good. Mm. Let's see a little bit more. <laughs> Morris Minor. Morris Minor. It is a Morris Minor crew. With a little radiator strap, yeah. yeah. It's great, don't it's you? Good. It's a good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Oh, it's good. You're always say. moaning. I, I used to drive one of those. I first did over 70 miles an hour in, uh, in one of those. How? On the, on the descent from South Mims. Was, is that yeah. a cliff? And I was in the back seat with... <laughs> and I was in the back seat with a girlfriend at the time. Was anybody How in did the front you manage to go... What were you steering with? With difficulty. That's right. <laughs> what? <laughs> OK, let's have a look at the next one. I'm surprised with you lot. One of you sitting here with us owns this car. It, it's a Range Rover. No. <laughs> you just, just can't blurt out your own car, Murray. <laughs> just in case. Well, it's not any of your... How many red Range Rovers yeah, you see? Yeah, yeah. One of us around this table actually owns it. Currently drives around in this car. I'm going to show you a little bit more. Come on! It's a Porsche Boxster, but... <laughs> what? That's the old model, and I've got the new one. He's got <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but the point is, you're supposed to be able to spot any car. Well done, here's a poor Fox car. I thought that looked a bit like a box of vinegar. OK, let's have a look at our race. Yes, Richard and James are in the lead as we move on to the claim game. I'm going to show you a genuine car insurance statement, but some of the words are missing. To get the miles, tell me what those words are. Chris and Murray. The fact that I was at the time, had no bearing on the collision that followed. And we're looking for four words here. The fact that I was reversing blindfold into a space half the size of my car. <laughs> <laughs> or even the fact that I was teaching, trying to teach an idiot how to reverse. Well, we might as well get the facts right while we're at it. <laughs> on a ram raid at the time. <laughs> had no bearing. I was going to tell you. The fact that I was eating a chicken curry at the time <laughs> had no bearing on the collision that followed. That's a good job they put down chicken curry because you never get anything for Lamb Madras. No. <laughs> Richard and James, what's missing here? I pulled into the petrol station when suddenly... <laughs> ..between my legs and I hit the pump. <laughs> Something bad happened between my legs and I hit the pump. <laughs> Three words here with you. Suddenly I noticed this... my motorcycle was missing from <laughs> between my legs. <laughs> Any other thoughts? I into the petrol thought... station when suddenly I discovered the area between my legs. <laughs> <laughs> well, it comes very late to some of us. Same there. No, I thought into the petrol station when suddenly an argument broke out between my legs. <laughs> between my legs. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to have to tell you, I don't think you're going to get it. I pulled into the petrol station when suddenly my puppy dived between my legs oh. and I hit the pump. <laughs> Just before we move on, I've got another statement with some words missing. And Murray, you should have an advantage here because this isn't an insurance claim. It's something originally said by you. OK? <laughs> <laughs> 
There are actually 